maybe going back to the stone path a little bit today, but I just I, I had this idea pop into my head. And I don't want to do another let's play on, on more wheat field stuff, so I thought that that would be a good opportunity uh, to do something like this in the stream. Uh, did we decide that was going to be a jack-o'-lantern? I can't remember. I think yes. I think this is going to be a jack-o'-lantern. Although I guess it doesn't really have to be. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Maybe we'll just inch it forward by one. Just to kind of get our odds a little bit better. Do I have more water? I do. I do like my coffee. Um, I look out and working from home, I don't have to deal with either bad office coffee, which I've I've had to deal with before, uh, or um, I don't have to um, spend a whole lot of money on it. Like I use a French press and that will take any mediocre coffee and at least give it like a nice, robust, strong coffee feeling. Um, Normally when I'm out and about, I'm, I'm a Starbucks guy, but not fancy Starbucks, like just simple dark roast coffee. That's all I need. Nothing too crazy. So these, I think we can make um, these, uh, uh, what are they called? They are called hay bales. Joel does words. And I think we'll put water underneath this one. Wow, I'm fe my, feeling the dizzies in the game today. I'm not sure what's up, but all over the map. Now, I think some of these along here might not quite work. We'll have to see what, what comes back and what doesn't. Uh, so it looks like this over here is also not working. So we could just hide another source there. One, two, three, four. Or we could put it here. One, two, three. Yeah, that's not going to reach either. I think maybe we do have to put it, put like a hay bale here. Oh, I don't have one. Crap. Uh, all right, put this back. Right, so we need hay bales and we need uh, some seeds. I think I'm going to dump some of my inventory as well. One thing that uh, uh, Jared and, and Paranor, you guys missed, uh, I now have an unbreaking three diamond hoe. That was the achievement so far today. After 5 p.m. time for whiskey? Yes. Except for I'm out of whiskey. Sad face. I finished off my Crown Royal last night, actually. Uh, that goes there. Great minds think alike, I guess. The news over the past few days have been very interesting. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts on the podcast come Monday and Tuesday. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the new blocks, the 40 new slabs, stairs, and walls. And yes, I'm excited to talk to Pixel Riffs about it. I think it should be cool. Um, 
Let's put those away. Can I find a spot for these? I need more torches anyway. You know what? Okay, so we are on a mission for hay bales and seeds. Peach pecan whiskey. Hmm. Probably a little bit too sweet for me, but uh, I did not know that kind of thing existed. Three hay bales here. We're going to have to, I think we might have to go just go get some more wheat. Uh, and then seeds. Don't really have any spare seeds in there either. So we'll have to go and hit the actual farm. Uh, what was the other thing that we wanted? I think that was it. Okay, let's go hit the farm. Or I guess the greenhouse. Um, no, both. We have to hit both. God, I'm, over, I'm all, all over the place today. The blocks and what 114 will actually entail. Yeah, they did a garbage job communicating what 1.14 is, what the other updates are, what these pre-Christmas updates are. Anybody that plays Java just doesn't have to worry about anything until 2019. So there's that. Um, which I was not impressed by. I thought we were going to get some updates with Java um, in the in this year. That's what they they said that they didn't say Java specifically, but they they were talking about both updates at once, and they weren't clear when they were talking about one and when they were not talking about the other. And I found that kind of frustrating. Um, how's this doing? Awesome. I guess I can just take it from here, can I? Uh, let's do two stacks. For anybody that's wondering, um, that wheat chest fills up, and then once it's full, it sends the excess over here to to the uh, the greenhouse. Yeah, Wednesday the 24th, I thought, was the the teaser about the uh, about the snapshot. Okay, so this is going to be I think there was no way around this, right? Like we had to make this. I don't like that this lined up with that though. It's the only beef. So maybe we have to move the pumpkin or the jack-o'-lantern over a little bit. Or we could just make them both. I don't know that we need another jack-o'-lantern right there. We could just make another another wheat, another um, hay bale. Like maybe right there. Um, how do we want to put this? That, I guess? Sure. Oh, wow. I guess I should probably eat. If I get in trouble with a skeleton, that would be the end of me. Yeah, I'm not been super impressed by the the communication either, Jared. Paranor, thank you very much for the subscription, my friend. Much appreciated. Oh, there it goes. One more iron hoe. So I think there's going to be like a minimum distance. So one, two, three, four. And Jared for the subscription as well. Thank you. 
You guys are too kind. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see some shenanigans. I was reading the pop-up. I wish the pop-up would cover gift subs. Cosmic Dancer, you're crazy. And thank you. I'm going to be working on an emote actually for for subs and stuff like that soon. I'm going to live stream it. I've been learning how to do some pixel art. And I think I'm comfortable enough now that I know what I'm doing. So I think I'm going to put the wheat here. And I think this should cover us. Did I pick up the shovel again? It's not what I wanted to do. I have to, um, I have to figure that out. Like, I mean, I, I really wish that Streamlabs would um, show me gift subs versus subs. Like, it should be popping up with Cosmic Dancer on the main screen, saying, you know, Cosmic Dancer has gifted the sub. Ah. <laughs> Die. Vengeance is mine. Well, it will be as soon as I find a creeper anyway. So this needs to be, do I have grass on me? I do. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Uh, I think the thing to do now is going to be to put in all the wheat so that, not the wheat, sorry, uh, the uh, seeds so that uh, we can back off and do something else to change things up a little bit on the stream. Uh, but then also, I don't want to get too into the decorating until I actually have all the wheat in because that tends to influence where I want to put stuff. So I'm just going to, this is going to be a little while of placing seeds here, but I didn't realize it, but uh, apparently, I don't know if it happens on stream, but you can certainly hear my mouse on the podcast. I didn't realize the click was that loud, but I guess it is. Now this, this is hard on the eyes. Like I'm getting like a, I'm getting a blur as I strafe. That is not focused. And I don't know whether it's Optifine or whether it's something that happens when I stream. Because I've, I've always had some sort of visual glitch happen when I'm streaming. I don't know why. Uh, you know what? I do. The problem that I've been having lately with the Let's Plays is finding the time to record. And also the content of what I want to do is more stream friendly. Like So what I'm doing right now, the path, uh, I have the in interior of the top floor. That I think might be the next video is going to be maybe decorating the inside, although that won't take super long. Um, yeah, so what, how can we figure this out? Um, so yeah, so that's that's the the idea. I think what I want to do is, is I, I notice a lot of people like Fwip and Janzy, they do like world tours and downloads on like episode 25, episode, um, you know, 50, that sort of thing. So I might want to try and set a goal like that to try and push me a little bit farther. Um, I was also thinking about doing a world tour, maybe doing some streaming in November um, or even later this month and doing like some sort of like subscription reward. So like setting a, subs a sub goal and if I got um, enough subs or really at this point with my streaming channel, it would be followers. Uh, when I say subs, I mean, I mean, YouTube subscriptions. I think my YouTube subscriptions is only like 220 or something. It's not a lot. Um, so I was thinking that I could maybe have like a YouTube sub goal, like say when we hit a thousand subs or something like that. And I'll do like a full, like a, an extra long episode where I'll just go through the whole world 
and do like a, a tour. Um, I wouldn't mind. I'll do a short, I'll do a short tour here with you guys. Um, if you're going to be sticking around for the whole stream, then at the end of the stream, um, I'm cool with walking around and showing you guys some stuff if you want. Um, I know I have to go and repair some tools so we could go take a trip and to maybe one of the farms or, or something. Cause I think I have to look at my chest, but I think, I think it's mostly shovels. I don't think I need to repair. I don't think I need to repair anything but the shovel. So that could just be like the spider farm. I maybe, maybe I won't go too far for that. Yeah, I figured you could probably hear it on the stream. It's uh, sorry. I, I hear, I hear it in YouTube videos. I've seen, I've seen hermit craft videos where I can hear people's mice. It's not a big deal. I think it's just because I'm a, I'm a perfectionist and I've been having some audio issues lately uh, in recordings. So I've been trying to um, sort out what that is. Wow, I'm going to run out of seeds. Um, and so in, in, in listening closely to things like white noise or background noise, I'm also hearing the mouse, but I've never noticed it just like listening to my own podcasts back. Like I don't notice it on the spawn chunks at all when I'm, I'm sure it happens. I just don't notice it. Um, I busted that, didn't I? Let's see here. Um, one, two, three, four. So this doesn't have to be right there. We could push it back a little bit. It's not in line with either of those. That's good, actually. You know, maybe we'll just leave this right where it is. Just put a to go get some more water. Put some some water underneath it. Can I get down here without destroying stuff? So I'm not entirely sure how to to jump up on farmland and not break it. I think it's just like a crapshoot. As long as you try to be gentle, it seems to be seems to play nice. I actually, I might have enough seeds. Famous last words. Forty-six. Oh no, no, we won't. I don't think we'll have enough. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. Ah, see, I broke that one. Oh, maybe. Nope, not it. No, we're going to be like one short, aren't we? <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> it's really frustrating. I have to go. I have to fill those in before I forget or I will. I'll be cursing myself later. OK, let's see if we can. I must have I must have some spare seeds here. One. Uh, you know what? Well, let's grab that one and I know there's there's stuff over at the um, over at the mill but let's just do let's just do this we're gonna have to get rid of some of this anyway the one time you're looking for seeds really do you have to use Do you have to use your fist? How many of these have I broken and I'm not getting any seeds? There we go. Okay, four should be enough. Half stack, hello. Welcome, welcome. How's your day going? Fortune will give me the most seeds. That makes sense. Okay, I think we got everything. Looks like everything except for that. Except for that. Uh, 
piece of stone there. And it's got water underneath the vent, I think. So really, um, I just need to turn this into just need to turn this into some um, some hay blocks. I probably have hay uh, bales in my landscaping box, more than likely. But that'll do. Uh, fastest way is probably just, I don't know, I guess straight, we'll see. Denaya, hello. Thanks for coming by. So how do I want to orient this hay bale? Let's put it so it goes this way. Grab that, put that there. Put this like this. There. So that's that's going to call this part, I think, done for now. Um, so we're going to switch gears and come back after this has um, had a chance to grow up a little bit. I guess we should probably make this some path. And we'll do this. Hmm. You know what? I kind of like that better with like a an edge to it. Yeah. Ooh, we should probably let's take this one and then sleep in the other one. Well, thanks for stopping by, Jared. Appreciate the the support either way. Yeah, half stack. So we, we're expanding the wheat field. So already you can see that it adds just like that extra layer. A little bit of blue in there is going to look cool. We've got this is going to that's that cobble is going to be a bridge, I think. Uh, and then once that all turns into wheat, I think it's going to really add a lot to that area. You can see it's starting to add a little bit more here. And if we scoot over this way, I think from the bridge, having the wheat kind of like start up here is going to go a long way. It'll it'll focus the, the your attention on the green stuff here. Um, but yeah, man, even just moving my mouse around like that, like everything goes blurry when I do that. I wonder if it's Optifine. I'm really curious now. I guess I could always just relaunch without it. It's not a huge deal, but usually it's the frames per second. But I'm only getting 34, really. That seems low for Optifine, but that could also be that I'm streaming. Uh, let's do, oh, I had some, I had hay bales there. Interesting. Okay. Um, I guess one of these has to be, usually I put the hose away there, but I guess I'll put it in this one. No. Crap, I'm feeling very disorganized. This needs to be seeds. All right, you go here, even though you don't belong there. Put the spare bucket away. Bones. 
ones. I'm just trying to clear out the inventory a little bit here. <laughs> yes, I am turning Dartmouth Meadows into a bread basket. I just really like the way that wheat fields look. I think they add a lot to the game. I, I would, I'd like to try and get like a custom wheat texture where they're more than one block tall. Like if this, if it was real wheat and it would be like a block and a half tall, I think it would look really cool then. I mean, the, I've, this is the, I didn't tweak the color of this, but I did tweak the color of the hay bale. So the hay bale is a custom, custom texture, but I just made it so it matches the wheat. I wish this was a little bit less green, actually. I think I wish it was a little bit more golden, but I, I'd like it to be just like a half block taller. You know, even just so that it, it hid, like if it was just tall enough that it would hide the edge of the block behind it, like just, just a little bit taller, I think that would look really cool. That's where my head is at anyway. Uh, put these back. This is probably full of dirt already. Yep. Uh, grass, don't need that. I guess I need to keep some blocks on me. I do not need to carry around this hoe though. And the wheat I need to dump somewhere. I mean, I don't really need to keep the wheat. I guess I can just let it despawn, but. Oh, sweet. Thanks for the info, Cosmic Dancer. Uh, yeah, I'm glad that worked. Uh, it was not reading a space. Like if you had a space or a hard return in Nightbot, it didn't like it. You have to um, you have to put like a space hyphen space or a or colon space or something. It needed a symbol that it could separate things out. And I think also the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The exclamation point that I used um, was messing with the Twitch chat because that's part of the syntax for Twitch, Twitch chat, I think. Yeah, jump scare potential for wheat would be cool too. Um, Cause you could like, if you, if you crouch, you could like kind of crawl through it. would be really cool. Okay, uh, what do we want to work on next? Do we want, let's do a vote since there's a few of you in the chat now. Uh, I have a couple ideas. Uh, I can work on more of this path and finishing up this section and, and farther down. So more landscaping. I want to add a little platform here so similar to how this kind of pops out, I could pop this out and ha have like a little viewing area. So that's one idea. Uh, and the other, what was the other thing? There was three things. I guess I could do the inside, but I'd rather do that, I think, in a video. Just because that's going to be a lot of trial and error. So we could do this. I think I'm going to, I'm leaning on stone path, but whatever you guys want is fine by me. Oh yeah, the inside here, like having this bottom section sorted out would be good too. Do I need anything from over here? Don't think so. More grass. Landscaping with Joel Ross. Sounds like a plan. All right, well, most of the landscaping stuff is already over there. I just have to put the bed down again. Uh, oh, bed's over here. Does anybody know how to force music to play in Minecraft without using a jukebox? Just curious. Um, I guess I could just leave the bed here. I guess we're going to move it, I guess, depending on where, where we're going to work. Um, this is feeling less finished. Like this is still feeling pretty flat. I don't like the way that this edge kind of works. Not my favorite. Um, so that's one complaint. Like as you're coming up this way, this doesn't feel like it gets more interesting. It feels like it gets less interesting. Um, so like, for example, down here, you know, you got this section here, 
you get this little stuff here and then it starts to get into more boring and I just I don't like this so I think we have to do something along the lines of like finishing up the staircase maybe giving it like a border um, I really like the way that these cap so I think I might the border might actually start up here um, so if I grab some stone The sound command, I think, will do it. Oh, really? I did not know. Play sound. Play. Unknown command. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Minecraft uh, music. Oh, cool. Credits, drag, and end game menu. Game? Do I do game? How does this work? This is cool. I did not know you could do this. Oh, Nightbot was... I think it's because you put so many... Um, so many links in there. Uh, let's just do dot game. Well, started playing. Cool. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, so we're going to grab a bunch of bricks that we need. We might actually use some polished andesite. This is the kind of thing I wish I had slabs and stairs for now of the various types. Um, cracked. What else are we going to need? Regular. And stairs. And probably some cobble. So don't need this stuff here. So what I'm thinking is probably going to have to sleep any second here, but I think we're going to have to come out with some regular bricks here. This. And we're also going to have to think about lighting and stuff. But then when it gets to this level, I think I want to remember... I think I just put a brick here. Yeah, so I, I want to make sure that at this level we're coming out like that. No. I guess at this point I probably want to put like an extra stair here. Don't know if I like that, but can't see right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Hastack. I didn't see your comment about uh, about a custom tree. I've done one but it's not like super detailed it like i grew a tree and then i customized the roots part of it but i didn't really do the whole tree i think that's how i did it anyway so let's just look at this here so i feel like this needs a slab on it i'm just gonna get the shape of this first no that's a no to that and a no to that Let's do that feels better and pretty unique. I don't know if I've ever done anything quite like that in Minecraft before. I'm digging that. So then maybe we have to do the same sort of stuff on the other side where we take um, stuff like this away. So 
So same idea, we'll just get rid of these. Hold on, I'm gonna make the chat bigger. Can I do that? Let's see here. There we go. I had to increase the size of the font in the chat. I think I did that right. What's this about building a lot of boxes? And then this. Okay, so let's get rid of these. I like the idea of having something here, but maybe not Maybe not logs. That's helping. That. Or maybe instead of that, we just put a brick here. I realize this is all the same texture. We can go, we can mess with it a little bit after the fact. So that feels less boring. I'm down with that. I don't like this one though. Yeah, okay. And then where could we add like a cobble here. Maybe spice this up a little bit. And then this is a full block, so we could totally do like a, a cracked or mossy. And is this a full? No, that's two. It's a half slab and a half slab. Although, I wonder if we can get away with putting a full cobble underneath there. Maybe a mossy cobble. Yes. Okay. Well, if you're looking for aesthetic stuff, I hope you're in the right spot. Um, I build some redstone, but I'm I'm probably more natural at this kind of stuff. Okay, so that's half. No, that's a full block. Uh, I feel like we could put like a cracked here. I was gonna try to use some of this um, uh, polished andesite, but I think it might be too shiny. And this, even though I know we can't see it, does not feel. Super good. So let's do maybe some mossy, some mossy there. I wonder if we could even do some mossy cobble. Yeah, like you just just catch the, the corner of it there. And this is feeling a little bit plain as well. Although we've been using these stone walls, so maybe I have these. I know I've got them somewhere, yeah. So maybe for now, whoops. Hmm, not my favorite. We could put a lantern there. That would be kind of cool. What would that look like if this if this was a um, a redstone lamp? Yeah, you know what? I quite like that. Let's go get one. Paranor, great minds think alike. 
I think it's because you mentioned redstone. And right away my brain went, let's let's put a lamp there. Uh, how do we want to do this? Probably item frame and pressure plate. Um, I guess I have to make a dark oak pressure plate. I like them too, especially this new texture. I think it's really cool. You don't have to do much to them. I could put a daylight sensor on top of it, but I think it's going to be too... Um, I think it'll be too high. Be a little bit too overpowering if we did that. So let's just do this trick. Although this has that weird little thing on top of it. Hmm. So I like the lamp. I wonder, could maybe use a little bit of color. I think the daylight sensor might be a better way to go. Lever underneath. Oh, if I power this block from underneath, will that lamp turn on? You're the redstone guy. Let me know. Because I like that better. So, like, if I put a lever on that block? Yeah, it totally will, won't it? Okay. That is way better. Let's do that. Thank you. Much appreciated. Mm -mm -mm. Tradesies. Just need one. And pressure plate will just have to go in here for now. I always, always, always seem to run out of inventory space when I do this stuff. Um, oh. Too greedily and too deep. Uh, let's do... Do I have to put it on the block above it? Yes. Okay. This should work. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. I guess that just means it's going to be on all the time, but the other one is going to be on all the time as well. And I think we'll have to maybe... I don't know if we have to trim down this tree a little bit. I kind of like it better when it's not touching, but it does make the tree look kind of funny. So maybe we just put one back. I think that's okay. And actually, we could probably use with some bushes. If there are any other box. It's okay, so I've got that there. So we'll have to remember to put some bushes there. So that lights up that part of the path quite well. These are just aesthetic. They don't actually give off any light. The stairs are actually blocking the, the light there. So I feel like we could maybe put another one of these on this side. It would have to be there though. Not sure. How would that look? Yeah, yeah, I think that might be okay. Because everything else is a half slab. That's the only place that we could do it. We do the exact same thing. I like the buttons on it too. That's good. Okay, 
Plans are in motion. I like it. Yes, you can hear the Blue Jay in the backyard. Yeah. It's really muggy here today. I've got the window open. Pressure plate on top for decoration. I never thought about having it there and just not having it be functional. For that matter, we could use a stone pressure plate for decoration. That's why I've grabbed these two pieces of stone. What does the stone pressure plate look like for decoration? That's actually not too bad. We'll put a we'll put a that dark oak one on this one. <laughs> I have got a funny feeling you're still being sarcastic, co cosmic dancer. Blue jays are very pretty birds. I they do not make a pretty noise. You'll have to convince me at great lengths otherwise. Uh, lever. Okay, you know what? Stick. You're going. We'll be able to keep this as cracked as well. So let's try this with a dark oak pressure plate. Oh, hey, look. Let's see underneath the stairs. Sweet. Two birds with one stone. Getting rid of my... Yeah, you know, I think I like the stone pressure plate better. What do you guys think? I'm leaning, I'm leaning in contrast on the stone. Unless there's something else we could put on top of these that would be a little bit better. The only thing I can think of, though, is like a stone wall, which would look dumb. But I can't think of anything else we could put on top of those. Uh, stone pressure plate. So for now, we'll go with the stone pressure plate. Yeah, cool. Uh, I need last bit. I think I can only fit one button or maybe two. Nope, just one. That's fine though. I almost want to put a stair here. See if that kind of makes things feel a little bit better. Yes. Wonder if it would look good this way. Nope. Better that way. All right. I'm feeling that's a little bit better. Certainly helps with this area. I don't quite know whether I want to make this into a wall, like a retaining wall. Or what? But I think the bigger problem, like that's okay. I think the bigger problem now is this section and how to handle this. Um, I guess we could start by building up the side a little bit. And maybe having, we did this trick at the other end. Uh, what block could I put there? I think maybe slab. Mm. No, you know what? If anything, I think we have to go with something green. Like I think maybe I can remove this and 
probably that. We can bury the torch. Get rid of this. And then put like a bush here. And maybe do like a combo. Yeah, like something like this. So I'm gonna need the green concrete powder, green carpet, and what else? When you say green carpet for edging or green concrete for edging, you mean here along this top up here? I think maybe one or two of those could be, could easily be green concrete, I agree. Kind of helps. I like to see some dirt sometimes, but not all the time. It's weird. This one is a little bit strange. So maybe we should do this. Have just a little bit of dirt there. Actually, I should probably put that as grass because underneath the tree that might not get enough light. And then maybe we can do that um, along here I feel like we're gonna have to move this and probably some of these shulkers so let's free up some space go get some greenery actually I'm just gonna bring the whole box Let's actually move this whole little mini work area and just put it up here. Just because I know we're done with this section. And I feel like we're probably better off just to have these up here. And then green. And we want birch and just regular oak leaves. So I'm thinking we use the oak for a bush like this. That maybe punch these two away. That's good. Although not crazy about seeing the top of the torch. Let's maybe do away with that. We don't really need it, I don't think. Shoot. My aim today is not what it should be. Here we go. Okay, so here, why is this? It's just because I think it's not grass. There we go. But then I... Cosmic Dancer with another gift sub. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Thank you very much. Very, very cool of you. Um, maybe here. And I think the other, did we do birch here? No, we did. This is, so I'm thinking we actually get rid of this button and then put a bush there and then see how much of this we can actually, not necessarily hide, but kind of put some greenery behind. This is going to get real tricky, but I 
Yeah, like that works. This tree, though, is just getting more and more problematic. It might be worth it just to kind of take it down and move it. Or just make the whole thing a lot smaller. I don't know. That's a little better. Maybe if I just take this top part off here. I mean, it's a Minecraft tree. It's certainly not a work of art. Yes, you're one of the starred folk now, half stack. Yeah, I mean, it's not overly complicated, but I think it's working. This is helping. I like the bushes kind of hiding the this a little bit, although thinking we could probably do this. maybe even get underneath here. Yeah, it's not too bad. Maybe uh, add a little bit there. I know this it starts to get real starts to get out of control real fast. I think maybe we swap these. Like yeah, see I feel like that has more of a border now and then we could always just do some grass. Actually, a couple of ferns wouldn't be a bad idea either. Could we stick one of these? Actually, let's switch those. Probably just grass like here. Can't put it there. Never thought about putting more grass over this way. Yeah, that's feeling better. I like it. I like it a lot. Put a few of these things away. Wow, I just I went all the way back down there to put stone away. It's right here. And landscape. Go tree box. All right, I need to take another short break, but I will be back.